What's up, YouTube? Figure I'd make a uh, quick video on some tools I made. Um, I use these uh, wire pulling spools for all the wiring I did in the shop here. And I figured I'd show you what I, how I made them and what I did. Uh, first off, hang on. All right, so what I did, took some scrap two by four, screwed it together. You can kind of see how that goes. Uh, just in like a pallet like fashion and then I got a lazy Susan off of Amazon I think I picked uh, these up I can really good look at it in there two for nine bucks maybe on Amazon on Prime and so I made two racks two pulling uh, spools and as you can see it spins now not the cleanest thing in the world right it's not the Lots of sawdust in there right now, but it does work. Uh, I originally just had this flat and had the wire spool sitting on top of it. And that worked okay when it was full because there's just a lot of weight. As it started to wind down, it started to slip off. Uh, the wire spools, you can see have holes here. I tried to screw it down to this thing and it just really didn't work. Uh, I screw it too deep and it actually screws the um, the top part into the bottom part and then it doesn't rotate. That's, that's bad. Uh, and then if the screw's too tall, then the wire gets caught on it. So what I did was I had some scrap. Uh, this is one and a half inch conduit, schedule 40 PVC, electrical conduit. And I just drilled a hole, you know, the size of the conduit into the top part here. And then I actually went just a little bit deeper, I think, down to the bottom to where I have kind of a ring, you know, a partial hole. And that just sat nice and neat right in there. Actually, no, I didn't go deeper the lazy susan's there duh so i just drilled all the way through this first part and then i epoxied that in and i didn't do a very good job of epoxying it in but it seems to work it's, it's at least sturdy enough i wouldn't go tweaking on this but it does seem to uh to hold it just fine so time will tell to see how well these work with uh with the pipe in there it's not spinning as uh, as well as i would like but uh, i think it's gonna be good enough especially considering this was basically free with parts I had on hand. It's a good solution for being able to pull a house full of wire like I'm about to here shortly. So anyway, if you want to make something like this for your project, it can be done pretty cheaply. So uh, thanks for watching.